Kathleen Wynne Shell Game. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. We've heard from Kathleen Wynne that she wants to reform the system, that we need new rules on fundraising, political fundraising in Ontario, and how third parties spend election ad dollars in the writ period and the time before the writ. But at the heart of it all, it's a shell game. We've told you there are questions about the, well, the loopholes that are in the fundraising scheme. These were only rules that were brought about after Wynne was embarrassed by story after story of ministers having $500,000 quotas for fundraising, that they often raise this money from people that they regulated and did business with on behalf of the government. We've heard stories of people being told the minister can't meet with you to talk about your issue, but if you come to the Liberal fundraiser, we may have time. So we've told you about all of that, and there are loopholes on the fundraising side, but on the third-party election spending limits, there appear to be loopholes as well. Wynne wants to limit it to $100,000 for third-party groups such as teachers unions in the writ period. $600,000 in the lead-up in the six months before an election would be the limit. Political parties would still face their limits, but where there wouldn't be limits, government election spending. As Auditor General Bonnie Lysak rightly points out, that is a major loophole. The government spent $40 million on advertising last year, including, well, partisan ads like, like this one that's showing in movie theaters. What does climate change mean? Simply that we're in trouble and not enough adults are listening. If we don't act now, the damage could be irreversible. Who will have to live with the consequences? You. So you're going to have to solve it. Be a part of Ontario's Climate Change Action Plan at Ontario.ca slash climate change. David Suzuki scaring children on climate change and trying to get everyone on side with the Ontario government's plan. And then there's the Ontario Retirement Pension Plan ads. It used to be in ru under rules brought in by Dalton McGuinty, Wynne's predecessor, that the Auditor General had to approve any ad that could be construed as partisan. But Wynne got rid of that. She didn't like that. And she wanted to use the public's purse to continue to advertise government policy in a partisan fashion. And under these new rules, that will continue and there will be no limit on government advertising in the lead up to the election or during the election meaning that Kathleen Wynne's Liberals, come 2018, will likely use your tax dollars to advertise to you on behalf of their political party, all for their re-election attempt. It's just yet another example of how Ontario's Liberals can't tell the difference between the public purse and the Liberal Party coffers. Shame on them once again. Shame on them. This is a loophole that needs to be closed. Opposition parties say they're working to do it. The NDP and the PCs both say they can't stand for these loopholes to continue to exist. But they also both say the Liberals are resistant. Maybe they know that without the extra money, they have no hope of winning the next election. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.